Hello, welcome back to the woods. And welcome back to a review of this, the M32 from a company called Rake. Now there are things in life, that as soon as you pick them up, you know that you made the right choice. You know that it's gonna perform well. And this is just such a thing. Normally I do my tried and tested reviews where I've had it for at least a year, if not 10. But with this, I've had this a matter of a couple of weeks and I already know that actually this item is really, really good. I'll explain a little bit about why I got it, what it's there to replace, and also the features that you get with this particular knife and why I am so impressed with it. So impressed, in fact, I am telling you all about it. Now, for those of you who are long-time followers of the channel, you will know that my EDC knife, the one that lives with me all the time, is one of these. And this is the German Army knife, the one that used to be issued, made by uh, Victorinox, um, also by Ator. And this, I've been using one of these since the very early 1980s. I've had a couple of them in that time, but these are great little knives. They're non-locking, they're UK legal, and they have not just the blade, but they also have a couple of other features. So, screwdriver, saw, bottle opener. You've also got corkscrew and a reamer. Because it's non-locking, it's UK legal, and as I said, this has been in my pocket most of my adult life but recently I've been looking around for something a little bit different I've had a couple of the normal Swiss Army type knives the, the little red ones and they've always been I don't know they're not very bushcraft they don't seem robust I've snapped a couple of blades on them they do have certain features that I like but overall nah <clears throat> they're just slightly lacking so I've been looking for something else and like with most things I research it I look into it I see what the alternatives are and what I found was a company called Rake now I'd never heard of Rake before um, it's spelt R-U-I-K-E so it's not spelt like Rake but that's how it's pronounced they look very similar to the ones I think that were made by Boca Tech Tools. In fact, they look almost identical. So I don't know whether there is a connection there. I know there is some sort of connection to Phoenix, uh, the lighting company, because on the back of their packaging, it, the website address is Phoenix Lights. They do quite a few different models and they do ones with locking blades. They do ones that are much, much bigger. But this, the M32, seems to be designed and aimed at being a replacement for the standard Swiss Army knife. <clears throat> and that was what I wanted it for. What I also wanted was a few features to sort of bring it into a modern age. Back in the 1980s, well, I didn't drive. <clears throat> Not that many people I knew drove, to be honest. That's very different nowadays. We drive everywhere, everyone drives. Cars are a much bigger part of our lives. So what I was looking for was something that was good for out here in the woods, but also good for everyday use and also good for emergency situations. And this particular model, the M32, has pretty much everything that I'm looking for. So obviously the big requirement of any pen knife is that it has a blade, a main cutting blade, and this one does. Again, it's non-locking. Again, it's got a cutting inch of less than three inches, so it makes it legal for everyday carry in this country. The blade steel is 12C27 Sandvik stainless steel, which is a very good steel. On my old Normark Super Swede, that was the same steel. And I think the, the Open L Garden Knife is also made of that same steel. It's got a very good nail nick. The blade is slightly broader 
than it is on the Swiss Army knife and generally has a much more robust feel. You'll also notice that actually the blades are quite thick. I would say probably the blade on a standard Swiss Army knife is about a mil and a half, perhaps two mil thick. On this, I'd say it's a good two to two and a half mil thick. So it's quite a good substantial blade. So the main blade, pretty impressed with. It also has a pocket clip, which means it can attach to my pocket and it's, it is pretty secure. I'm probably going to remove this actually because that way it will fit in my EDC light pouch a lot easier. It does fit into it, <clears throat> but it is a little bit tight. I prefer something that slips in and out much more easily. Now, as well as your main blade, well, it's got a couple of things that are the same as the German army knife. It has that corkscrew, which I have to say, I use the corkscrew an awful lot, and not just as a corkscrew. It's very, very useful for pulling knots that are jammed into paracord. Very, very useful tool, and that's what mine tends to get used for the most. Also on the back, we have this reamer. Now this reamer is slightly shorter than it is on the German army knife. However, this is a very, very different beast. It's got a little eye in there for sewing. It is properly sharp and not just the point, it's got a, a full on cutting edge on the side. This is a very, very good little reamer. It's absolutely excellent. It has the saw blade, but it is just a saw blade. It's not a combination blade. There you go. This is almost identical to the one on the Swiss Army knife, even down to the little uh, thickness of the blade. It cuts as well, if not slightly better, than on the Swiss Army knife. It's also very, very good for scraping sparks from your ferro rod. You have to adapt, adapt your, your technique slightly, but it does work very, very efficiently. Also on here, screwdriver, bottle opener, so that is the same. But then it has two extra features. And these are more emergency items, which is what I wanted it for. Number one, a glass breaker. As I said, we travel in cars nowadays, and if I need to get out of the car, and with electric windows, if you have an accident, it's not uncommon for them to jam, you might need to smash your way out, or smash your way in to get somebody else out. It also has one of these, and this is a strap cutter. It is designed for cutting through straps, seat belts, etc. So if you've got to get somebody out who's in a harness or get yourself out, that's what this is designed to do. Now I know a lot of you will say, yeah, but that's what your main blade's for. Yep, but you've got to slide this in behind the strap and there is a chance that with a normal blade, you could cut the person or poke them with the point. This has a rounded tip on it. In fact, the tip also doubles as a small screwdriver. And then you've got this scalloped edge, and it's not a straightforward cut, it is a saw in motion, but it is safe, safer to use on a person in an emergency situation. So I thought those were really, really good additions. Something else that I really liked on this, and this is way better than the ones on the Swiss Army knife, are these, the little tweezers, except for these aren't so little, these are almost a full size set of tweezers and they are good and they are grippy, excellent for getting debris out of wounds or pulling splinters out, a whole host of different first aid applications with these tweezers and they really are excellent little tweezers.
Also on here, you have a little key ring loop, which I will probably use. I like to put a big dump of uh, brightly coloured cord on there. So if it gets dropped on the floor, well, I'm still going to be able to find it. That's the problem with these green and black scales. They can be quite difficult to find. So a big chunk of fluorescent orange cord on there will make that much, much easier to find if I drop it on the floor. In use, well, in use, it's really impressive. The main blade arrives very sharp, in fact, shaving sharp, uh, and it being 12C27, it will retain that edge. It's the standard flat grind uh, with a, a, a bit of secondary bevel on it that you get on all pen knives, and despite that, it does actually shave a half decent feather as well. I've used it quite a bit for food prep. It slices very well, it cuts cord, it will cut wood. It's absolutely ideal. The little saw, as I said, excellent for uh, just pruning stuff or if you're out on the trail and you're, you're gathering materials as you go and you see those opportunities, the little saw works exceptionally well. It also, as I said, is very good with your ferro rod. So it makes a very good alternative to your Swiss Army knife and it also makes a very good little emergency tool. All in all, I think it's pretty good. It is quite weighty. If you're used to a Swiss Army knife, even my, my German Army knife, this is quite a bit heavier. It comes in at, I think it's 120 grams. But a lot of that is down to the, the thickness and the quality of the steel. It is also quite broad because of that. It's not particularly slimline. They do a version called the M42 that has all of these features and a pair of scissors, but I was worried about that making it just that little bit too thick. As I said, I'm gonna remove the pocket clip because it, I don't carry knives in a pocket. I know this one is very secure and it will probably hold, but your knife is an important bit of kit. I like it securely held in a pouch on my belt. Cost-wise, well, with all things, not particularly cheap. I got this one from Henny Haynes, excellent service as always, and it was 46.95, so 47 pounds. So the equivalent for this would be, I think I found one, the Victorinox Camper, which came in about 20 pounds cheaper. I think it was 27 pounds. So it is quite expensive, but you are getting, I think, a very good quality item. So I've been really, really impressed with this little knife, the M32 from Rake. I think it's an excellent, excellent item. Go online, look up the other ones in their range. They do everything from a simple single bladed one up to multi bladed, quite chunky versions. This one for me is absolutely perfect. So go out, check them out. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, then remember, give it that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Down below in the links box, if you go over there, there is a link to my social media. So Instagram and Facebook. The Instagram, if you used to follow me before, where I was uh, Greencraft01, that account got hacked. Don't go anywhere near it. If you hear from that account, ignore it, block it, report it. I'm now down as Neil underscore Greencraft. So go over there, give me a check out. Follow me, please. I did have 2000 subscribers on my old account. I'm now down to about 200. So anything you can do to that, please, please do. Also, in that description box, you will find a link to my Etsy shop. Pop over there and check out some of the stuff that I've got coming up on there. There are the usual, the badges, so the little woven green craft patches, 
and the leather ones but there are also some other items coming up including my fire pouches my edc light pouches i'm also going to put up some more of my foobar headbands for those of you who don't know what they are go back into my playlist check out the foobar headband it's a great bit of kit you want one there are also going to be my cuts kits and i'll put a little picture up of that at the end i think that's everything i've been neil and until next time stay safe <laughs>